Hi guys, John here from Sat Plus. Today in this video I'd like to showcase our Australian made Minimax satellite system and what better place to film it than the beautiful Brumba Dam region. Okay, so this video is all about our Minimax system. Uh, the Minimax dish is made by us on the Sunshine Coast, constructed from aluminium base, stainless steel fixtures, uh, powder coated steel dish. Comes in a padded carry bag and folds nice and flat so you can lay it down on the mattress or on the bed. Now the kit comes complete with a vast satellite box, so it's your 12 volt box for watching the programs through. A very high end professional satellite meter to align the dish. You've got 10 meters of cable to connect from the dish to the caravan, a wall plate to get through the caravan wall, a basic little compass to find north, some cable joiners, some pegs, and very important, a comprehensive instruction manual. So they're the standard inclusions in the kit, but we also have a few extra upgrade options, uh, including our integrated TV bracket, which integrates the vast box to the back of your TV, so that when you lift the TV off while traveling, the vast box remains to be connected to it. Uh, we have an under shelf mount option where the box can be mounted under a shelf or in a cabinet even vertically to save some space. We have a drawbar mount option so you can mount the dish on a pole like this. And this pole attaches to this plate and the dish will attach to the plate as well. But I'll, I'll get into more detail about that later on. So a little bit of a focus on the on the Minimax dish itself. Australian made by us, uh, majority aluminium stainless steel construction, so you won't have any issues with corrosion. Very simple to set up. Take it out of the carry bag, fold the arm forward, raise the dish. Features an integrated base, so there is no need for a separate heavy tripod. Raise the elevation pole and pop the pin in through there. And we're ready to go. Now lining that up is fairly simple. We do supply a manual that tells you what the angle should be depending on where you are. So when we open up our book, you can go through the full installation process and then get to midway through the book where it shows the elevation scales. Here, there's the contour lines. that shows you the zones for the rotation of the LNV, but that is mentioned in a few other videos. And it also shows a list of towns and cities um, displaying direction. So in my case, it's around about 60 degrees elevation up here in Queensland. So the dish is easily adjusted up and down, very straightforward. Nice sliding mechanism there using T-slot. So we'll just set that to around about 60 degrees, lock up the cam lever, switch the meter on. And when you turn the meter on, it'll come up with two signal bars. Now the top bar is showing signal strength and the bottom bar is showing zero signal quality, which means that we are not lined up. So now it's just a process of working out where north is using our basic little compass. So in my case, north is out this way. So I like to start off at northwest, just to the left of where I think the satellite is. And I'm gonna pan the dish across the sky until I get a reading on my meter. So we'll do that now. Nice and slow going past north and there's our beep. Now at that point you want to observe the signal quality on the bottom there and get that quality up as high as possible. Which is around about there. And you can also adjust the up and down angle to raise that signal slightly even more. There we go, 87% signal quality, 89%, that is fantastic. Now if the elevation was wrong, so let's say we had the dish uh, aiming too high and so we rotate it across north and we get nothing. It's just a matter of adjusting the dish. There we go. It's just a matter of adjusting the elevation angle to get your maximum signal. So don't be concerned if you miss it the first time or even the second time. Just make sure that you do those necessary adjustments and you'll find the signal within a couple of minutes. Now once you've done that, switch the meter off, disconnect it from the connector and then we supply some spare joiners that you'll join onto this cable and connect that to your big long cable that'll take you to the caravan. So once you've lined your dish up it's just a matter of turning the TV on, turning on your vast box. The box should be connected to the TV with the HDMI lead 
and you'll be seeing this message signal too weak or not found. Now as soon as I connect the satellite signal into the back of the box, it will automatically scan in the programs and providing that you've registered the smart card, um, you will get picture. stuff for Darren Hicks. Brilliant time of 3.33.58 but this young Frenchman. So there you have it guys, uh, picture perfect no matter where you are, out in the middle of the sticks here, uh, no TV reception yet using our satellite system, all digital channels uh, crystal clear.